Okay, I have mentioned this a few times already, the fact that there's going to be a video about custom reports in Zero. I'm so excited to give you this lesson because I believe that this is one of, in fact, this is the best thing about the new style reports in Xero. Not only do you have the flexibility of the new style reports, but also once you have flexibility that works for your business, you can save these reports as your very own custom reports. That's what we're going to look at in this lesson. We're going to head into Zero, and we're going to take a look at an, at an example of setting up a custom report in Zero. Let's head to the report section in Zero. So from the dashboard, we choose accounting and then we choose reports. I'm going to choose one of my favorites, which is the account transactions, which we can see is new style. Okay, so let's create a report that we're happy with that we're going to use on an ongoing basis. What's included in the report is really not that important, but I'm going to look at my sales codes. So let's say I want to review all three of my sales codes. I'm going to look at the previous month. That's what I'm going to do regularly. So I will choose last month and at this stage I will update. I'm going to change the header because it's sales and then I'm going to go into report settings. Now again, as I said, it's not important what we're choosing here. We're just making a report our own style. So I'll have a quick look at what's going to be included and update. On this specific report, we're not going to see anything because I don't have data. So let me just change the date. I'm going to head back to where I know I've got data. Okay, so this is just to see if the report looks the way I want it. So I've got sales code by code, date, source, description, reference, debit, credit, and VAT. So yes, that's the layout that I'm happy with, but I do want to choose last month. I know there's nothing there, but that's fine. Now that I have the report layout that I want, this is where I go down to the bottom right, choose save as, and choose this option custom. What do I want to call it? I'm going to call it last month sales report. Do I want this to be the default every time I come into my account transactions? Well, I'm going to say no because I might use the account transactions report for lots of things. So I'll leave that blank, unticked and choose save. Okay, so what happens now? I'm back on my dashboard and this time when I choose accounting and reports, I can see that there's an option for custom. So I'm going to choose custom. And when I go into this section, I find the custom reports that I've created. So I can pick this report up here. And once you select your custom report, you can see it's got the name that you wanted. It's got the accounts that you've chosen. It already picks up last month. And if we update, you get your information. There's no information on here, so that's why it's not giving us any. But that's where you get that report. One other thing that you might want to do, you might want to give it a blue star if it's a report you use all the time. So what that then means, head back to the dashboard again. Instead of having to go accounting, reports, custom, and select it, now we know we can go straight to accounting, and it's here as one of our favorites. So that is how you create your own custom reports. Find the reports that you're interested in, the reports that are meaningful for your business, the reports that you will use on a regular basis. And instead of having to go through the flexible part of changing all the report settings, save them as your very own custom reports. If you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. Add some comments below. I will do my best to respond to them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when my new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. Until next time, happy zeroing.